All right, let's start. Let's tap the spacebar to open our four panel view. And in the last part, we loaded in our references. Um, if you look at my panels though, my references are missing. And this may happen to you as well. So when we put our references on their own layers, it sometimes creates this bug. And um, we did that actually so that we don't accidentally uh, select our references. But let me show you how to bring back your references if this has happened to you. So open up your channel box and uh, navigate down to your layers and you just need to toggle the visibility of them. There you go, perfect. And then we, before we begin, um, I'm going to turn off the grid for these. It'll make things a little bit easier to see and we'll bring it back if we need it. And then I'm also gonna turn on um, wireframe unshaded. And finally, x-ray mode as well. X-ray mode will allow us to see through our mesh. All right. Let's begin. So let's go into the top view. And if you look at the faucet, you can see that it's rounded around the back and rounded around the front as well. In the side view, it looks flat though. So the image can be a little bit deceiving. So what I did was I grabbed a few more image, images from the website and off of YouTube as well. And if you look, the faucet is flat around the front and round around the back. So we'll take that into account. Also, if you look from the side, you can see that the handle, it has the same kind of design. So round around the back and flat around that front. All right. So what we're going to do is let's start off with a cylinder and then we'll um, make the top section and extrude that down. So add a cylinder into your scene. And here's our cylinder. And because we'll be using the sub D modeling workflow, meaning later on we'll be smoothing this to give it um, a high resolution, we want to start off with the minimum topology that we need. So press T on the keyboard and let's lower this to eight. There we go. And go into your move tool. Our move tool um, blue arrow, which is the Z axis, is pointing this direction. So this is the positive direction. So we want to go into face mode and grab the faces on this side. And we'll be extruding it um, in this direction. So let's go back into um, the top view. And rather than um, use the, oh, by the way, um, you can get to your tools from over here if you like. Um, Multicut is here, Extrude is here, Bevel is here. We'll be using all of those along with Target Weld. Um, I'm gonna close this up. I'll be using the marking menu though. Um, and normally I would extrude that way, but I'll show you a, a different way to extrude as well. Hold down Shift on the keyboard, hover over this arrow, and then click and drag. This is the Smart Extrude. And we just wanna move it to about right here. All right, let's go into our side view and we'll go into object mode and we'll move this up. And now um, let's go into vertex selection. We just wanna move these up as well so that we have this top uh, piece. Um, the faucet, by the way, um, before I forget to mention, actually detaches. So we probably won't include that. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe not, but um, I looked on the video and you can actually take this whole piece off um, on the actual faucet and maybe clean your face with it or maybe spray your sink with it. Um, but for something like this, it's probably best to have Lee, probably have um, that in a texture if you were texturing it. So bake it into the normal map. But you could you know, model that if you want to. It's not difficult, you just need to separate it. Yeah. Now, what we'd wanna do next is um, we want to put an edge loop right here. So uh, grab your multi-cut tool, hold down shift and the right mouse button, choose multi-cut. Again, you can grab to, uh, it from the modeling toolkit as well. Let's add a cut right here. So hold down control, click right there. And now we want the faces on the bottom. Um, let's go into object mode. I'm just gonna frame in on this. And I'm gonna go into face mode, hold down the tab key, that'll enable drag select, and I wanna grab those faces. And then in the side view, let's go into our move tool and um, use that smart extrude again. Um, hold down shift and then just click and drag one of the arrows. And down here, I actually want to snap it to that ground plane. So let's bring back our grid and hold down X on the keyboard and then click and drag to the grid line you want. There you go. 
All right, now let's add an edge loop right here as well. So grab your multi-cut tool, and let's extrude out that base now. All right, so let's go into face mode. We want to click, hold down shift, double click, so that we have the faces there. And then in the top view, uh, we want to extrude this out. This time I will use that marking menu, so I'm going to hold down shift and the right mouse button, choose extrude, and we want to give this thickness. Thickness or local translate Z should probably do the same thing. And I'm going to bring this roughly to about right here. All right, so now we have um, the base done. Um, let's take a look. So over here, um, this faucet handle, right, um, has this attach point here, and this is actually coming out of the base. and what we can do is we can reuse this midsection to make this. And the advantage of that is the edges will line up uh, nicely. Also, if you take a look at the faucet handle, I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but um, it looks like this bottom section is lower than this, but it's because the image is showing the faucet slightly turned on. So you can see the handle is um, pointing in this direction over in our, basically the final design these edges, those lines, um, are on the same perspective, right? So they follow each other. So they're actually um, at the same um, height. Um, you can see it over here as well. So, um, And then the faucet handle extrudes up to here. And yeah, um, one more part of the uh, faucet design is there's um, an angle here that we'll model into there as well. We'll model as well. <laughs> All right, let's go back to here. So let's um, go into face mode. So select your um, mesh and go into face mode. And we want to box select all the faces there. Hold down shift and the right mouse button. And we want to duplicate those faces. Let's open up the modeling, or not the modeling toolkit, the outliner. And over here, you can select the mesh we just duplicated. And let's just move this off to the side. I'm going to center that pivot. And let's rotate this 90, degree, 90 degrees. Uh, hold down the J key and that'll enable um, snapping. There we go. And you can see if I push this in just a little bit, these edges line up. All right, let's go back to the front view. And then over here, let's scale it in a little bit first and we'll move it roughly into place. And then what I want to do is um, I want to scale it so that it better matches the height of this. However, I don't want to scale it from the center because that'll um, change um, how these edges match up. What I want to do is scale in one axis. Um, so we'll go into here, click, and just drag that. There we go. And now let's go into vertex mode. We'll grab these vertices, move these over to here, and these ones I want to snap to the center. So let's hold down X on the keyboard and then just click and drag this over. All right, now we have that in place. And um, I'm going to go into object mode. Let's isolate this for a second. We have some holes here. And what we'll be doing is we'll be uh, using the Boolean operation to combine these. And Maya doesn't really like holes when you uh, Boolean. So let's fill these up. So go into edge mode, double click the edge. We are going to uh, fill this hole. And we'll do the same over here as well. Press G to repeat. And then let's grab our multi-cut tool and turn this n-gon into quads. So another thing about Boolean, Booleaning is that um, it likes very clean topology. So when you can, just clean it up a little bit. There we go. And then over here as well. I'm pressing three on the keyboard just to preview it. Um, when you're connecting um, edges, right, um, sometimes it's good to check um, by doing a preview smooth because then you can see whether you were connected it accurately or not. All right. Let's unisolate our view. And now what we can do is um, let's combine these two objects now. Before we do that, though, I want to put some um, extra edges here to line up with here. 
Um, it will just save us a bit of time later on. So let's select this mesh, grab our multi-cut tool, and I'm gonna put an edge right here, here, and here. And then let's go into edge mode and snap it to line up with this. So go into your move tool, hold down V on the keyboard, and click and drag. And we'll do the same for these ones as well. Here we go. All right, now let's Boolean this. So go into object mode, grab both of these, and what we wanna do is maybe delete that history. And what I'll do as well is um, turn on X-ray mode. It allows us to see the Boolean operation, whether it worked or not, and go up to Mesh, Booleans, and choose Union. And in my case, it worked out, right? Hopefully it worked for you as well. Um, sometimes though, when you use Booleans, um, or you're performing Boolean operations, your mesh might disappear or dis totally disappear. So, sorry, your mesh might partially disappear or totally disappear. And what you can do is change the classification to normal, and sometimes that brings that back. So you have to play around a with it a little bit sometimes. Um, but in our case, it looked like it worked. Um, let's turn off X-ray mode for a second. And here's our mesh. Um, however, if I go into vertex face, so to get to vertex face, I'm just holding down the right mouse button, choosing vertex face. We want to inspect this a little bit. And we're looking for any areas that might have like hidden edges, etc. cetera. Um, in my case, it's actually pretty clean, right? Um, sometimes you'll see some stuff, right? But if I go into vertex mode, um, let's press four on the keyboard to um, enable wireframe. And I'm just gonna box select some of these vertices and double check. There's one there. Sometimes there's extra, there's six here, right? So um, depending on the Boolean operation, sometimes you'll see extra vertices where they shouldn't be, right? There's a couple right here. So what we'll do is we'll merge these vertices. So go into vertex mode, grab all the vertices, and then um, hold down shift and the right mouse button, choose merge vertices, and then merge vertices. And there you go, it's reduced that for us. Awesome. If we go in now and box select the same areas, you can see that there's one there now, um, here as well. Cool. I'm gonna press five on the keyboard to bring back a regular shaded preview. And now um, let's make um, this section over here. So go into face mode, grab these faces. So I'm gonna hold down the tab key, do a drag select, and then let's duplicate those faces. Hold down shift and the right mouse button, duplicate face. And now let's grab those faces. You can grab it um, from the outliner, or if you go into object mode, sometimes you can click a couple times and it'll grab it for you. And now let's go into our front view and we'll move this over, but my pivot is down here because we duplicated the faces. So let's just center that pivot and we'll move this off over here a little bit. And we want to extrude this to this section. So hold down shift and the right mouse button and click extrude. And we're going to bring it to about this line here because we're going to need an edge there anyways for extruding the handle up. So once you uh, move it to here, press G to repeat, and we'll bring this section to here. And again, we only want it to come to this point. We don't want to bring it down here because that faucet handle is uh, slightly turned on. All right. Um, you can see though, we have a, a bit of an angle here. And in the final design, or actually the, the actual um, faucet itself, it actually goes fairly up, goes fairly up high, goes up high fairly, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say, it goes up a little bit high. Uh, so um, we can essentially, um, let's go over here, reuse this mid line right here. So what I'm gonna do is go into object mode for a second, select this piece, and now let's go into our multi-cut tool. And what we wanna do is find the angle of this, click away from the mesh, and then click and then drag down. And what I wanna do is um, match that angle and then let go. And what that has done is it's actually cut all the way through the mesh, right? So if we go into um, face mode now and box select these faces, um, we can delete essentially that whole section. There you go. And now let's um, isolate this object for a second. 
And over here, right, what we'll want to do is um, weld these vertices to here because we don't really need that extra um, edge. So to get to your um, target weld tool, it's in the modeling toolkit. But if you're in object mode, you can also use the hotkey. So hold down shift and the right mouse button and choose target weld. And then um, target weld um, has a couple ways that it works. It can either weld edges, right, or vertices. So when you have your target weld, hold down the right mouse button and make sure you're in vertex selection. And then we want to just click and drag. All right, that's pretty good there. And we're actually going to need um, an edge loop here for the um, top section here for the, where it extrudes. I'm just gonna go into the top view just to make it a little more even. And I'm gonna hold down control and click once I roughly have a square. All right, so let's go into face mode, select this face, and we'll switch to the side preview. Go into your move tool, and again, we'll use that smart extrude. So hold down shift, click and drag. All right. Um, and then we have this section over here. And what we we'll want to do over here is fill this section up. So go into edge selection, double click the edge, and let's fill that hole. So hold down shift and the right mouse button and choose fill hole. And then we have an end gone here, but this one is um, pretty easily fixed. Let's grab our multi-cut tool. And we just want to connect this to here and this to here. There we go. All right. Now let's take a look. We have one more piece I want to make in this section. So over here on the back of the faucet, you have this little stick thing, and this lifts the sink stopper, usually in your sink, to let the water drain. So let's make this. And because we'll be um, sub-demodeling this, we'll um, just start off with a cube. So add a cube into the scene. I'm going to move it roughly over here, scale this down. I think that should be good right there. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Now let's grab the face over here. So what we can do is we can actually go into face mode. If I box select these faces, hold down shift, do another box selection here, I still have this face. All right, now let's extrude this. Um, yeah. So hold down shift and the right mouse button, extrude. And oops. Bring it to here. Actually, didn't really need to extrude. Probably just needed to move it, but we'll keep that there for now. Um, and then from over here, I'm going to press G to repeat. Bring this over to here. Maybe rotate it. Right. We'll move it roughly maybe over here. And then let's uh, press G to repeat again. We'll drag this down to here. Rotate a little bit and move this to here. And then finally, if we're happy with this angle, um, press G to repeat and move this down. All right. You can see that it hasn't quite um, matched that. For now, what I'm going to do is delete the face on the end. We don't need it. If I press three in the keyboard, you can see that um, it comes to a point, right? So I'm just gonna delete that face and that fixes that. And then now I want to fix this area. So I'm going to go into vertex selection, grab these vertices, and just rotate this a little bit. And we'll move it um, over here. All right. So now we have um, something like this. If I press 3 in the keyboard, it looks pretty good. Uh, what I want to do, though, is fix this end area. So go back to um, the perspective view. And what we want to do over here is maybe bevel this face. So go into face mode, we'll select this face, and if I press three on the keyboard, you can see it looks like that, which isn't too bad, but I'm just going to uh, bevel it, and then press three on the keyboard, and let's actually go to the side view. We'll just play with the fraction a little bit. All right, I think that looks pretty good, and now we can go into vertex selection, maybe move this down just a touch, 
and we'll keep that edge there actually we do kind of need it to stop it from rounding out too much but if we want let's take a look we can double click it and delete it and see ah we, we'll delete it it's, it's pretty minor so we'll get rid of it so it's up to you all right so now we have this and um let's take a look what we have so far we'll unisolate the view so we have that piece that piece and that piece um later on we'll extrude there and we still have a little more modeling so we'll finish the modeling in the next episode and then we'll also add um supporting edges so that we can um smooth this out because if we select everything now and press the three on the keyboard you can see that um the edges are, are smoothing out too much and it's collapsing. So we just need to add those supporting edges. So yeah, um, we'll see everyone in the next part when we finish uh, the faucet.